What's up guys? It's Arebs US here and I'm back on a new adventure on YouTube here to show you guys how to install Proxmox. Uh, it's called a virtual environment for a reason. Basically, uh, it's an enterprise uh, virtualization option, uh, which is basically storage and compute all in one. Uh, so you know, plain English, it kind of does a lot of things uh, that VMware does, VMware uh, vSphere, um, if not in some ways, maybe even better. And of course, it's totally free, it's open source. Uh, but if you do want support, you have to pay uh, for a Proxmox subscription. Uh, and of course, you know, the, there's many companies who specialize uh, in Proxmox uh, deployments. Uh, no plug for myself, but I also have a company which uh, has maintained and does maintain uh, some very large enterprise uh, Proxmox uh, environments, as well, as well as VMware too. Uh, so it really depends uh, what your organization needs. Um, but anyway, let's get into it, guys. Uh, so basically the first step here in your adventure, um, you know, normally if you're just testing, oh, in this case here, I have a VM that I'm installing Proxmox on, but in real life, you really want to take, you know, one of your uh, dedicated servers, a physical server, uh, install in bare metal. Okay, that's the proper way of doing it, but I'm just using this video to easily show you. So in real life, you probably would, uh, you know, be using your KVM over IP on a server. Uh, in the case of what I normally do, I actually will have a custom Pixie server, um, and it would just deploy the Proxmox um, image right onto uh, whatever server we, we specify. But anyway, uh, the idea is you boot from the ISO somehow, or, or Pixie boot, and here we go. Here's how it looks. Uh, so the installer boots up something like this. We wait for it to start up here. Okay, and you'll see pretty much the first thing that uh, that the Linux uh, OS is going to do. Actually, guys, this is based off uh, DB11. Pretty much they used uh, the latest version of DB11 for Proxmox. And you'll see it's getting an IP uh, over DHCP. Now, normally, this is probably not preferable for most enterprise mission-critical environments. Uh, you would probably have, you know, a, a range of IPs that are statically assigned. Um, but Proxmox will kind of, you know, uh, get a DHCP if it can. Um, but I don't recommend you take their IP. I recommend you take, you know, an IP that works for you uh, in your subnet. And usually that probably won't be over DHCP. If it is, then fine. But, uh, you know, for a service, you really shouldn't use DHCP because the IP can change at any point. Uh, so click on Agree to that. Uh, we're going to choose the hard disk, which is just the dev SDA. Enter your country to set the time zone. Click on Next. Now enter the password. This is your root password, actually. Root password uh, and username works from the GUI over the web and also, of course, uh, from the CLI and even over SSH. Okay, and enter a unique FQDN, fully qualified domain name. Uh, I'd recommend naming your first one something 01 and then the next one 02 because uh, you can't have any conflicts, okay? You can click on install here. But what I mean by conflicts is that uh, if you go in and try and install a, a second server, even though it has, it's different, but it has the same host name, uh, it will not be possible to add it to the cluster. And I, I can make another video. You can hack around to make that work, uh, but it's better just to make sure you have a unique host name. Uh, now that's done installing, you would go HTTPS to IP and then colon 8006 on your GUI. And from there, your Proxmox adventure can begin. Hopefully you're gonna be adding more nodes, but if you're just trying to learn how it works or just run something that's not mission critical, then go ahead. Yeah, just install it on one server. Um, and guys, so yeah, this is the beginning of our, of our adventure here in Proxmox. I have a lot of other videos that show you how to get the most out of it, including uh, doing clustering and HA and uh, Ceph distributed uh, shared object uh, uh, storage that's present as a block device in Proxmox. So guys, thank you for, for uh, watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.